with the collapse of the Soviet Union, the possibility of a great Orthodox Sobor on the level of an ecumenical council which has not taken place since 787. 787. You would think there'd be some issues to discuss <laughs> after such a period of time. And there are many. There are many, many issues to discuss. Patriarch Bartholomew has taken great initiatives over the last years to prepare for such a great sobor. You know, there have been commissions that have been working for 30 and 40 years, maybe 50 already, to prepare for such a sobor. Such a sobor is coming. And we will be challenged, our church, the Greek Orthodox Church, the Serbian Orthodox Church, the Romanian Church, all the churches, all the jurisdictions are going to be challenged by the great Sobor that is coming. And we need to be prepared. We need to be also flexible. We need to be agile in order to maintain those things which are important some are eternal, some will end with the end of this world. But those things that are important to us, we can maintain them. But we need to be flexible in matters of organization and governance. And we need to distinguish between what is priority and what is of a secondary, tertiary nature and not to lose everything over some minor detail. And so we will be called to become wiser. And we need to take these next few years. It could be three years this sobor will happen. It could be five. It could be a hundred. Nobody knows. But there are preparations being made to hold one, and we need to have preparations in order to prepare for this sobor. I believe that we will all be facing a choice as a jurisdiction within the ecumenical patriarchate, as individuals, whether we'll, re whether we'll respect the decisions of this great council. It's a terrible place to be before such a decision. But with God's grace and God's blessings, that will happen.